Ahmad from Millennium Immigration Canada. Uh, today is a new topic. Like uh, some people, they think that there are certain uh, Canadian provinces where uh, immigration process is very, very easy than other provinces. And this conception uh, needs to be clear. This is not such a story like that. There is no shortcut. If you guys uh, meet the eligibility requirement of the provincial nominee program that you are applying for, so that will be easier for you. So of course, you know, if you have a job offer in a particular province, it will increase uh, more 600 points in your CRS system. And that increase uh, your chance to get uh, invitation to apply from IRCC. Once you get invitation to apply, it means that you are, uh, you are requested to apply for the permanent residence. The right fit will depend on your situation as well as the skill and experience you can offer when it comes to the need of the local labor market. Finding a PNP that is right for you is a little like finding the right key for a lock. Except for Nanowood and Quebec, these are two uh, Canadian provinces. Most regions in Canada, they have their own PNP specific streams. There are almost 80 unique uh, streams across the provinces and territories which participating in the PNP. A provincial nomination, an enhanced PNP stream that is one related to Canada's express entry system. It means that any province's pro uh, provincial nominee program which is linked to the express entry system. Express entry system, I already mentioned that, that is a federal uh, program which has uh, three streams and you have to apply uh, in one of them. It will certainly award an additional 600 points if you get a job offer from that province and that 600 points will be additional into your comprehensive ranking system score. So if you get these additional points it is virtually guaranteed that you will uh, receive an invitation from the government of Canada to apply for Canadian permanent residence. There are numerous options available for, to the applicants, you know, on their personal situations. Uh, so, if you if you want to apply for the program or stream which uh, which have uh, no job off, then uh, Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program is better for that purpose. So in this uh, Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program, which is in short called OINP, it has a stream which is called Human Capital Priorities Stream. It is uh, one of the most popular options for those without a job offer. This stream has three express entry link categories and has been actively issuing invitations to immigration candidates in 2020. While a job offer is not required, you do need to have only an active express entry profile and work experience to be considered and invited to apply to this stream. The second uh, option for you guys without job offer is a Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program. You know, if the link is there, if you click the link, it will take you to the Saskatchewan uh, province website. So the applicants, uh, you know, they don't need also job offer for this stream. So Saskatchewan's international skilled worker category has two very active steps that do not require job offer. The first one is uh, Saskatchewan Express Entry Link Stream and the second one is uh, Saskatchewan Occupations in Demand Stream which also doesn't uh, require a job offer. It demands skilled workers who are capable of filling labor needs in Saskatchewan to qualify an applicant must have at least a one year of works, work experience in one of the positions listed on the in-demand occupation list of Saskatchewan right here. If you click here, it will uh, give you the list of occupations where you can apply at least uh, uh, with one year experience. That is the eligibility criteria. The third program is the Nova Scotia nominee program. There are, you know, the highlighted with green uh, color these are the streams where you don't need a job offer from the Canadian employers and the, with the red red color, they require a job offer. So the Nova Scotia Nominee Program, which is called NSNP, is one of the Canada's most extensive and innovative provincial nominee program. The NSNP uses four streams to select express entry candidates. The NSNP searches the express entry pool and identifies candidates with work experience in specific uh, occupations. While the labor market priorities for physician stream, this is a stream name, labor market priorities for physician stream requires a job offer, specifically 
as a physician from a Nova Scotia Health Authority. The Nova, another stream which requires a job offer, which is called the Nova Scotia Demand. The third one is uh, Nova Scotia Experience, it doesn't require a job offer. And the fourth one is Nova Scotia Labor Market Priorities, yeah, it doesn't require a job offer. So there are opportunities for you guys who, if they don't have a job offer from the Canadian provinces, uh, you can apply without a job offer. The second situation is, uh, suppose if you are a French speaker or a francophone or bilingual applicant. The French is the official language of uh, province of Quebec. There are, you know, provinces where there are programs, you know, you know where they require francophones or French people with the high command in English as well, you know, they can apply uh, for this stream and they have uh, like, a, they are, they must be a skilled worker and who also have strong English language skills among other selection criteria. The stream has been active over the past six months and issued 700 notifications of interest. So you can imagine within the six months they have issued 700 uh, no, uh, notification of interest. You know, this is a big good result. And the third situation is if you are a tech worker. So the, those who are a tech worker, there are two provinces, they have their programs, you know, for the tech workers. One is uh, Ontario, the second one is British Columbia. These are two Canadian provinces. Ontario periodically conducts dedicated tech draws within the Ontario Express Entry linked uh, stream, which is called Human Capital Priority Stream. These draws target individuals who have work experience in one of six designated technology occupations, such as computer engineers and web designers. You know required job offer for this stream. The second province is British Columbia, and they have their own tech pilot program. You know. They also uh, select uh, immigration candidates to apply for a provincial nomination on an almost weekly basis. This pilot operates within the British Columbia Skilled Immigration Pathway. A job offer in one of the 29 designated technology occupations is an eligibility requirement for the pilot. If you click here, you see this is a British Columbia provincial government website. So here, so eligible tech pilot occupations, the complete list of the 29 in-demand tech occupations can be downloaded from here, PDF, in the PDF format. So guys, you can click here, you will see all 29 uh, designated uh, occupations where you can apply. So Manitoba is one of the Canada provinces, which has their own nominee program, which is called Manitoba Provincial Nominee Program. So they have two streams, skilled worker in Manitoba and skilled worker overseas. Both streams privilege people who have worked in Manitoba as well as have an educational experience. Within its international education stream, Manitoba also has three distinct sub-streams for individuals who studied or graduated from Manitoba post-secondary institutions. Guys, uh, hopefully this video uh, will help you a lot. You know, for those who have, uh, uh, who wants the streams where they don't want job offer from the Canadian employer and as well, you know, the uh, streams where uh, you required a job and also the province where you have studied and you have work experience there and you know for them the Manitoba provincial nominee program is the best one so these all programs are you know are very good uh, to qualify for the permanent residence so uh, have a wonderful day take care if you like the video comments down there have a wonderful day take care